Thirty years after the Soviet Union collapsed, Putin exploits nostalgia for the old regime. Photo: The history of the Cold War. The Kremlin Resort town of Yalta was the setting for the historic meeting of British, U.S., and the Soviet U- leaders, Winston Churchill, Franklin D. Roosevelt, and Joseph Stalin. In February 1945, with the defeat of Nazi Germany imminent, the big three allies agreed to jointly govern post-war Germany, while the Stalin pleaded fair and open elections in Poland. The his. The decision by the United States to use the atomic bomb against Japan in August, August nineteen forty-five was credited with ending World War Two. Hundreds of thousands in Hiroshima and Nagasaki were killed instantly or died from the radiation in the aftermath of the of the bombings. The British Prime Minister Winston Churchill delivered a speech at Westminster College in Perth, Missouri, on March fifth, nineteen forty-six, from Staten, in the Baltic, to Trieste, in the Adriatic. An iron curtain has descended across the continent, he declared. On June twenty fourth, nineteen forty eight, the Soviet Union made a bid for control of Berlin by blockading, blockading all land access to the city. Berlin was divided into four sectors against the U.S., British, French, and Soviet control, but the city itself lay entirely in Soviet occupied Eastern Germany, from June. Nineteen forty-eight to May nineteen forty-nine, U.S. and British planes airlifted one point five million tons of supplies to the re- residents of the West Berlin. After two hundred thousand flights, the Soviet Union lifted the blockade. Here, a tattered group of Be- Berliners stand amid the ruins of the building near Temple Hall. Airfield, as the C forty seven cargo plane brings the food to the city. In August nineteen forty nine, President Harry Truman <coughs> signed the North Atlantic Treaty, which marks the beginning of the NATO. Two years earlier, he requested four hundred million dollars in aid from Congress to combat communism in Greece and Turkey. The German doctrine pledged to provide the American economy and military assistance to any nation threatened by communism. Joseph Stalin left meet with Mao Zedong in Moscow <coughs> in December nineteen forty nine. In June, nineteen forty-nine, Chinese communists declared the victory over Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist forces, who later fled to Taiwan. On October first, Mao Zedong proclaimed the People's Republic of China. Two months later, Mao traveled to Moscow to meet with Stalin and negotiated a Sino-Soviet treaty of friendship, alliance, and mutual assistance. In June twenty fifth, twenty five, nineteen fifty, North Korean communist forces invaded South Korea. Two days later, President Truman ordered the U.S. forces to us. Os- Assess, assist the South Koreans. Here, U.S. Marines land at Incheon at battle ranges. Three years later, an army armistice armistice agreement was signed, with the border between North and South lawfully, the same as it had been in 1950. The willingness of China and the North Korea to end the fighting was in part attributed to the death of Stalin in March. 
secure children alone to protect themselves in case of nuclear attack by practicing a dock and cover drill in their classroom in 1951. Stalin's body is seen in his coffin after his death on March 5, 1953, after suffering a stroke. The Soviet, U Soviet Communist leader's uh, emblemed body was on display until 1961. On March 29, 1951, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg was convicted of selling U.S. atomic secrets to the Soviet Union. The Rosenberg was sent to the electric chair in 1953, despite the outrage from liberals who portrayed, portrayed them as victims of the anti-communist witch hunt. Rosenberg's conviction helped fuel the rise of McCarthyism. The anti-communist campaign led by the U.S. Senate Joseph McCarthy of Wisconsin in 1950. Nearly 400 Americans, including the ordinary, the famous, and some who were the uniform of the U.S. military, were interrog interrogated in secret hearings, facing accusations from McCarthy and his staff about their alleged involvement in communist activities. While McCarthy enjoyed it, enjoyed public attention and initially advanced his career with the start of the hearings. The tide turned. His harsh treatment of army officers in the secret hearings pre precipitate, precipitated his downfall. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched the Sputnik the first man-made satellite to orbit the Earth. In 1958, the United States cre credit created NASA, the National Aeronautic and Space Administration, and the space race was in poor gear. In 1959, Leftist forces under Fidel Castro out overthrew the government of Prugencio Batista in Cuba. Castro soon nationalized the sugar industry and signed the trade agreement with the Soviet Union. The next year, his government seized the U.S. assets on the island. Soviet leader Nikita Kuru Chap speaks at the 1960 Paris summit, which was interrupted when an American high altitude U 2 spy plane was shot down on the mission over the Soviet Union. U 2 spy plane pilot Francis Gary Powers poses with his flight helmet among other evidence related to his Moscow trial in 1960. After the Soviets announced the capture of powers, the United States recounted earlier assertions that the plane was on the weather research mission. On April 12, 1961, Soviet cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin circled the Earth abroad a spacecraft called the Vostok 1. After parachuting from the craft near the Russian village of Smelovka, Gagarin landed a hero and a major embarrassment for the United States, already stung by the Soviet first in the race launch of the Sputnik first satellite four years earlier. The young woman, 
young woman accompanied by the, her boyfriend stands at the Berlin Wall to talk to her mother on the East Berlin side in 1962. The wall divided the eastern and western sectors of the city. The U.S. had rejected the proposals by Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev to make Berlin a free city with access controlled by East Germany. And in August 1961, communist authorities began construction on a war to prevent East Germans from fleeing to West Germans. Reporters take pictures of U.S. President John F. Kennedy behind his desk after he signed the arms embargo against Cuba in 1962. The embargo, embargo effectively quarantined Cuba. In 1961, the U.S. organized the invasion of 1,400 Cuban exiles was defeated by Castro's force at the Bay of Pigs. President Kennedy took full responsibility for the disaster. The next year, the Soviet Union installed nuclear missiles on Cuba cap capable of reaching most of the U.S. Kennedy ordered a naval blockade of Cuba until the Soviets removed the missiles. Six days later, the Soviets agreed to remove the missiles, defusing one of the most dangerous confrontations of the Cold War. Soviet cargo ship Puzik, Puzik Kurchatov reached Cuba on loot for Russia in 1962 during the Cuban Missiles Crisis. On deck, on deck are six cam canvas covered missile transporters with missiles. U.S. troops were sent to South Vietnam in 1965 after it, it was alleged that North Vietnamese Petrol boat had fired on the USS Maddox in the Gulf of Tonkin. The Vietnam War lasted la 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 nearly a decade and left more than 58,000 Americans dead. Missile launchers were on display during a military parade in Moscow. In, Mos in Moscow, the so Red Scare in 1967. A young Czech woman shot Ivan go home to soldiers sitting on tanks in the street of a flag in 1968 on January 5th, 1968. Re reformer Alexander Dubsek became general secretary of the Communist Party in Czechoslovakia, pledging the wi widest possible demo democratization, democratization as the flag spring movement swept across the country, the Soviet and Warsaw Pact leaders sent an invasion, in invasion force of 650,000 troops in August. Dubsek was arrested and hardliners are restored to power. Apollo 11 astronaut Edwin E. Buzz Arduin Jr. works on the lunar surface on July 20, 1969. He and mission commander Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. Their mission was their mission was considered an American victory in the Cold War and the subsequent space race, meeting President Kennedy's goal voices in 1961 of landing a man on the moon and returning him safety, safely to the world before the end of the decade. With the Kremlin leaders and the presidential aide looking on. U.S. President Richard Nixon shakes the hands with the Communist Party chairman Leonid Brechnev, 
signing one of the several agreements made during their seven-day summit in 1974. African levels, rivals are seen on the top of the knockout Russian armed vehicle in Afghanistan in February 1980. The Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan in 1979 as communist Barbara Kosma seized control of the government. U.S. backed the Muslim guerrilla fighters wages a costly war against the Soviets for nearly a decade. Balloons, were, balloons are released during the opening ceremony for the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. After the U.S. boycotted the Moscow Summer Games in 1980, Eastern Bloc countries, including the Soviet Union and East Germany, boycotted the 1984 Games. U.S. President Liger Lagan commemorating the 75th, 750th anniversary of Berlin addresses the people of the West Berlin at the base of the Brandenburg Gate near the Berlin Wall on June 12, 1987. Due to the application system being used, the presidential words could be could also be heard on the east, communist controlled side of the war. Tear down this wall. Uh, was the famous feat of field by Lagan directed at Gorbachev to destroy the Berlin Wall. The address Lagan delivered the, that day is considered by many to have affirmed the beginning of the end of the Cold War and the fall of the Soviet bloc. President Reagan and Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev signed the arms control agreement banning the use of the intermediate range nuclear missiles in December 1987. The demonstrator found a way at the Berlin Wall in November 1989. Gorbachev renounced the Brezhnev Doctrine, which pledged to use Soviet forces to protect each interest in Eastern Europe. In September, Hungary opened its border with Austria, allowing East Germans to flee to the West. After massive public demonstrations in Eastern Germany and Eastern Europe, the Berlin Wall fell on November 9th. Jubilant people step on the head of the stage of Felix Dzerzhinsky, the founder and chief of the Soviet secret police, later known as KGB, which was toppled in front of the KGB headquarters in Moscow on August 23, 1991. The KGB was responsible for mass arrest and executions. Russian Federation Federation President Boris Yeltsin left as Soviet President Gorbachev could look over a document, with, document while attending the Congress of People's Deputies in Moscow in September 1991. While vacationing in the Kremlin Peninsula, Gorbachev was out, outed, ousted in the Corp by communist hardliners on August 1991. The COP soon faltered as citizens took to the street of Moscow and other cities in support, support of Yeltsin, who denounced the group. group. Yeltsin was the first democratically elected president of Russia. This In this portal of TV screen, Gorbachev announced his resignation on December 25, 1991, ending his nearly seven years of power and signing signally the end of the Soviet Union.
the Russian flag flies over the Kremlin shortly after Gorbachev resigned. The red communist flag bearing the gold hammer and sickly sickle emblem that fl fluttered over the Kremlin came down in the final act that underscored the fall of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. Moscow, CNN. When the Soviet Union finally fell, it was in a mundane way, as if it had clocked up from the normal days of work. On December 25th, 1991, Mikhail Gorbachev addressed the Soviet citizens and announced his resignation as president. A little after 7.30 p.m. that same day, the Soviet flag waving in the wind was lowered from the flagpole above the presidential resign residence in the Kremlin. For five minutes, the flagpole stood bare as if to symbolize the transition of power. By 7.45 p.m., the Russian tricolor, tricolor was hoisted on it. The following day, the Soviet Union was officially dissolved, and with that, the empire, empire in which I'd, I'd been born and spent the first 26 years of my life came to the end. The backdrop of my family story, which included losses during World War II and Stalin's repressive dictators, had came down. But I must admit that when that flagpole stood naked, I felt nothing. For me, the Soviet Union became the thing of the past after the attempted coup of August 1991. Gorbachev pulled the strings, believing he was run running the country. But the strings were cut. Minister and regional le leaders wrote to alarmist letters to one another. Food supplies were tightening and the country was facing starvation. Russia was creating a reform government. As the budding journalist, I was enthusiastic about the change. I worked at the newspaper eagerly, reporting every day what the reformers were doing. My older brother, Miwild, became an advisor to the chief reformer and the later prime minister, Yegor Gaidar. <coughs> A Soviet woman pushes a shopping cart past a near-empty refrigerator and shelf at the local general food store on October 19, 1990. But amid the difficulties of the transition, people's inspir inspiration started fading over the following years and the bulk of the population discovered that capitalism did not bring immediate happiness. Despite that, in the spring of 1993, people voted in the referendum to continue reforms, and in the autumn of that year, the reformist party Bibor Rossi man managed to form one of the largest factions in the new parliament. It was the last time when liberals were successful. In 1994, less than three years after the Soviet Union collapsed, socialists led by Yuri Levada recorded a change in attitudes. People began to say that they preferred the quiet work for hire rather than their own businesses and the risk associated with them. As more time passed, a substantial number of Russians began to feel pangs of nostalgia. Soviet songs were sung in New Year's of New Year's programs on television. Postmodern Soviet like menace became popular in restaurants. But no one seriously thought of going back until 2000 when the new president Vladimir Putin 
fight to literally change their tune. Putin restored the revived version of the Soviet anthem, still used today. Supporters of the Russian Communist Party were seen ahead of the fl fl flower laying ceremony as Soviet leader Joseph Stalin's grave, making, marking the 142th annual anniversary of his birth. The president's resurrection of the Soviet ghost did stop, didn't stop there. Putin famously called the breakup of the Union the greatest political catastrophe of the 20th century. During an address in 2005, two years later, he gave another speech in Munich about the humiliation of Russia by the East, West. And it sounds like a plan to make Russia great again. Domestic audience at the time didn't take it too seriously. The average, this, this average citizen wasn't thinking about the politics then, enjoying the recovery of economic growth and the high oil economy of the 2000s. Putin's popularity gradually declined and Russia's modernization seems inevitable. Though the short war with Georgia in 2008 did give his approval ratings a temporary boost. In 2012, Putin faces unprecedented protest by the urban classes and began a very sharp U-turn towards ultra-conservative -cons policies. And one of the main components of the, his propaganda was the glorification of Russia's so-called victorious Soviet history. Russian Communist Party supporters carry a portrait of Vladimir Lenin as they walk towards the Muslim of the Soviet state founder on the 151th anniversary of his birth. Russia's uh, annexation of Krem Crimea in 2014 was por portrayed, portrayed as an act of restoring the empire. The empire, empire feelings were slumbering, slumbering in the heart of the most Russians and Putin played on this, reviving his pride in his, their pride in being part of the great power. As the Crimean effect rolled up, Putin stepped on the pedal for Soviet nostalgia, presenting the Stalin era, particularly the Great Patriotic War as one of the victory and the order. But Fast forward to 2021, and almost half, 49% of Russian respondents would prefer the social Soviet political system, according to a study published in September by the independent Levada Center. The survey, which included 1,603 adult respondents across the 50 regions of Russia, said said it was a re record figure of social Soviet support for their, this country. Surprisingly, there are no contrasting attitudes to the Soviet era across the generations. Our research from the Carnegie Moscow Center and the Levada has found the older cohort were are nostalgic for the USSR. The, young, the younger ones have developed the image of the Soviet Union as the fairy tale country, a retro utopia where, utopia where everyone is equal, everyone is free, and stone, but just the father figure rules. People are dreaming of the federal society, and Russians have no other models than the Soviet Union. The 
imagery, imaginary USSR still have the footing in many ways, even when Dishi's regime is losing popularity, popularity to the Soviet system. As the last traditional December hockey tournament in Moscow, the Russian team took to the ice wearing a Soviet team uniform, and the audience often waved the Soviet flag. Three decades after the Soviet flag was officially lowered, it still looms large in Russian life.